Could these moments be any funnier? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious Chandler moments. <laughs> Whoopa! Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the funniest moments from Chandler Bing. We're excluding moments that made us happy cry like the proposal, as well as moments that involved many members of the group, like Miss Chenen Lervong. I'm not great at the advice. Can I interest you in a sarcastic comment? Number 10, The Taylor Incident. Your tailor is a very bad man. When Chandler needs some clothing alterations taken care of, he naturally asks the group for advice. Joey has a tailor that he's been seeing for years, so Chandler decides to pay him a visit. He's traumatized upon his return, however, since the tailor has taken advantage of him, well, prison style. Joey's tailor... <laughs> ...took advantage of me. Joey thinks the whole thing is totally normal, asserting that's just how they measure pants. As Ross sides with Chandler, though, Joey makes a startling revelation. Ross, will you tell him? Isn't that how a tailor measures pants? Yes, yes, it is. In prison? <laughs> Chandler's shock is par for the course, and sets the scene early in the show for more hilariously unfortunate incidents that will happen to him. Oh my god. <laughs> Number 9, the cheesecake. You have got to try this cheesecake. There are some natural pairings on this show, from Joey and Chandler, to Monica and Rachel, to Ross and Marcel. But one duo that doesn't get a lot of screen time together is Chandler and Rachel. I'm full, and yet I know if I stop eating this, I'll regret it. This season 7 episode has us wishing desperately that they had been paired up more often, because the aftermath of them eating a series of stolen cheesecakes is just too good. Now yeah, the cheesecake came. They delivered it to the wrong address again. <laughs> so just bring it back downstairs, what's the problem? I can't seem to say goodbye. It shows both of their most childish and ridiculous sides, with the two battling until the bitter end over who will get more cake for themselves. Oh, yay, yeah, look, there's a piece that doesn't have floor on it. <laughs> Stick to your side. Number eight, the shark porn. Oh, who am I kidding? Pay-per-view porn. The period where Chandler is working halfway across the country in Tulsa, Oklahoma, is a tough one for his relationship with Monica. When Monica decides to pay him a surprise visit, though, things get even worse. She walks in on Chandler having some personal time, and when he panics to change the channel, he ends up landing on a shark documentary. Well, the weird part is, he was getting off to a shark attack show. <laughs> no! Yes! Chandler watches shark porn! He thinks he's in the clear, but Monica knows what her husband was doing, and therefore assumes that he was pleasuring himself to the sharks on screen. Like every great sitcom joke, this misunderstanding makes for incredible TV. Let me be a part of this. Let me be a part of this. I saw what you were doing in Tulsa. Angry sharks turn you on. No, they don't. Number seven, Chandler can't catch things. Oh, oh it's so hard. Some of the Best Friends episodes involve the characters sitting around doing essentially nothing together, and this one is no exception. Joey and Ross have been absentmindedly throwing a ball back and forth for a while before they realize that hours have passed without them dropping it. Monica, whatever you do, do not drop that ball. Yeah, we haven't dropped it in two hours, 27 minutes. Mm. When Monica gets involved, the casual game is unsurprisingly escalated to a full-blown competition. But it's no surprise to anyone that Chandler is the weak link. Four hours? You guys have been doing this for four hours? That's right, baby. All right, let me in. No, 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 don't do it, don't! <laughs> what? He's a dropper. The key moment comes at the very end of the episode, when viewers are treated to a compilation of Chandler dropping things. Yeah, I'm anything but a dropper. Ross! <laughs> Number six, when he takes a bath. Hello? Yes, we're all in here and we'd love for you to join us. Chandler shows time and time again throughout the show that he isn't exactly secure in his masculinity. All right, this isn't so bad. I like the flowery smell. Which is okay because I've got my boat. So it fits his character perfectly that he would be reluctant to get into the habit of taking baths. 
Fans will remember that he willingly took a romantic soap with Monica in Season 5 when they first started dating. But it takes until Season 8 for him to want to bathe solo. When you get out, maybe I can give you a facial. I'm gonna need a bigger boat. This funny plotline ends with a poignant moment, when as the friends are gathered around Chandler in the tub, Ross and Rachel reveal the sex of their baby. Of course, it's Chandler and his boat that ultimately steal the show. We're having a girl. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh, wow! Get you later. Number five, Flashback Chandler. I, I'm Ross's little sister. Okay. Flashbacks are used sparingly but effectively on Friends, giving viewers a glimpse into the past and revealing previously unknown information about our favorite characters. In a fan favorite episode, the six friends reminisce about their worst Thanksgivings, and we get to see Chandler in all his college glory, flock of seagulls haircut and all. Oh no, it's cool. You can stay here. My parents won't mind. No, it's not that. I just don't want to be stuck here all night with your fat sister. We also get to see the disastrous beginnings of Monica and Chandler's relationship, with Monica wanting to get revenge on Chandler after he called her fat and accidentally cutting his toe off in the process. Number four, The Blackout. Great, this is just... In the show's first season, fans were still getting to know the characters, and this iconic episode cemented just how hilarious Chandler can be. When New York experiences a citywide blackout, Chandler gets stuck in an ATM vestibule with Jill Goodacre, a real-life Victoria's Secret model. Would you like to call somebody? Yeah, about 300 guys I went to high school with. <laughs> He panics given the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and tries calling Joey for advice, resulting in a hilarious exchange over the phone. What's up, man? I'm trapped <laughs> in an ATM with you. Oh my god, he's trapped in an ATM vestibule with Jill Goodacre! <laughs> Sadly, it wasn't meant to be between Chandler and Jill. But at this point, we knew that Chandler's awkward sense of humor was perfection. You know, on second thought, gum would be perfection. <laughs> gum would be perfection? Number three, advertising brainstorming. Cheese. It's milk that you chew. Chandler's job is a constant running joke on the show, due to the fact that none of his friends seem to know exactly what it is that he does. When he decides that he needs to follow his passions and do something that really matters to him, he attempts to enter the advertising industry. A grape, because who can get a watermelon in your mouth? While we know Chandler can come up with a witty one-liner, his marketing skills leave something to be desired. The phone, bringing you closer to people who have phones. Throughout the episode, he tries out advertising slogans while practicing to impress a new employer, and each one is worse than the last. Bagels and donuts. Round food for every mood. <laughs> Monica warned me you might do that. Number two, all Janice. Oh. My. God! Oh, come on! Did you know that Janice appears at least once in every single season of Friends? Every time she does, it means hilarity will ensue, due to Chandler's wide range of reactions to her. Happy Valentine's Day. Some of our favorite moments are when he's set up on a blind date with her, when he falls in love with her online, and of course when he has to buy a plane ticket to Yemen just to get out of dating her again. Well, then I guess I'm going to Yemen. <laughs> I'm going to Yemen. <laughs> Even in the show's final episodes, this relationship manages to get big laughs as Monica and Chandler have to devise a plan to ensure that they don't end up living beside Janice in their new home. I want you. I need you. I must have you, Janice Littman Goralnik Nay Hosenstein. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, no, no, go. I've scared you. I've said too much. I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate for love. I'm going to say this for the last time. Would you please just... <laughs> What's that? That's that's my nubbin. Number one, Phoebe versus Chandler. Come here. I'm very happy we're gonna have all the sex. In what's easily one of the best friends episodes, everyone in the group finally finds out about Monica and Chandler's romantic relationship. Oh, Chandler and Monica! Chandler and Monica! Oh my god!
Before this happens, though, a series of events leads to Phoebe seducing Chandler in an effort to call his bluff and get him to admit that he's actually dating Monica. Oh, hello, Mr. Bicep. Their exchange is almost painfully funny, with neither willing to back down first and the situation escalating further and further. The end result is not only funny, but touching too, with Chandler finally exclaiming that he loves Monica. Okay, 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 you, you win. <laughs> I can't have sex with you. And why not? Because I'm in love with Monica. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.